As of March 8, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 105,586 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 3,584 deaths. There are now 24,727 confirmed cases in 101 countries outside of China with 484 deaths. There has been confirmation of COVID-19 cases in several Caribbean countries, including Dominican Republic, St. Martin, St. Barthélemy, and most recently we note Martinique. The U.S. State Department has issued a cruise travel warning against travel by cruise ship. The CDC has noted the increased risk of COVID-19 infection in the cruise ship environment and has cautioned travelers, particularly those with underlying health conditions, against situations that may put them at increased risk for more severe disease. Due to the global increase in transmission and the recent upgrade of the Caribbean's risk assessment by the Pan American Health Organization, as very high, the Department of Health and Wellness continues to strengthen the preparation for in-country transmission and management, as well as building diagnostic capacity for testing for COVID-19. The equipment to facilitate diagnostic capacity has been ordered and shipped and is expected to enhance the management of cases through diagnostics. The ports of entry have also been strengthened with additional public health staff to enforce the re relevant regulations and protocols and to ensure the health of the St. Lucian public. On Friday, March 6, the Chief Medical Officer accompanied the Prime Minister, Honorable Alan Shastney, to a series of meetings in the cruise industry in an effort to discuss guidelines and protocols of both parties to facilitate a mutually beneficial agreement. These meetings proved quite fruitful. The Department of Health and Wellness has been informed of some acts of discrimination towards people who appear to be of Asian descent. Although coronavirus did originate in China, it is important to note that the risk of being infected depends on person's travel history and irrespective of race or nationality. The Department of Health and Wellness, we implore everyone to show compassion and empathy to all at this time. Stigmatizing and discriminating against any member of our society takes away from our efforts at preparedness. As such, the public is reminded to focus on the maintenance of the standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. These include regular hand washing with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer where soap and water is not available to cover your mouth and nose with disposable tissues when coughing and sneezing, to avoid close contact with anyone showing symptoms of respiratory illness such as coughing and sneezing, and to seek medical attention and to share your travel history with your healthcare provider if you have symptoms suggestive of respiratory illness either during or after travel. As we note that COVID-19 is closer to our borders, we encourage St. Lucians to avoid panic, but to focus on preparation. Preparation of schools, preparation of your workplace. We have been providing guidance on the importance of infection prevention and control, which includes hand washing, cough etiquette, and the management of respiratory illnesses. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue working with the various organizations to ensure a safe and secure environment as we work to reduce the possible impact of COVID-19.